Alrighty, everybody who's watching the stream, this is Southern Cross Auto in house night of the Thursday. Joining me, I have someone finally, is Logical Scope. How are you going, matey? Good, man. How are you doing? Yeah, not too bad. I have been very enjoying tonight, and you've played some pretty decent games, but unfortunately, haven't won one yet. You must have been watching the wrong games. We weren't playing decently at all. <laughs> oh, well, you sort of turned it around a bit, and then sort of, it just, you sort of lost grasp of the game. Anyway, we're jumping into this one because it's Captain's Draft, and the draft is actually ridiculously long, but no invoke of this game. We're ending out all mids. Is that because Tyler's here? Maybe. It probably would be. I w yeah, no, I w it's probably, probably it. But Marana does get picked up. Dire team pick. Uh, we also have Rubik and someone else who's going to get picked up, which is Batch Rider. Dire team Batch Rider. Pick. Very nice. Haven't seen him in such a long time. I love him so much. Yeah, he's great. He just... He, Radiant you pick. can't kill him early on because of Firefly. Like, Firefly, Sticky Name Palm. What, what can you do? Void. I like this draft even more. <laughs> dire team They're pick. pulling out all of the unconventional picks of late. I mean, well, I, d I don't suppose there's really any other hard carries that they could replace Void. I mean, like, there's Ricky and, uh, Lycan. You'd have gone the Drow or the Sniper, even a Medusa. <laughs> oh, Medusa's there, yeah. Oh, but it is... That's going to be L on the offlane Marana. Maybe? She normally plays support, though, doesn't she? I've only seen her play offlane. Really? Yeah, when we used to scrim her every now and then, she'd be, um, offlane. Oh, okay. Um... Well, normally when I see her playing in pubs, she normally plays support, or whenever she yeah. plays with us. But we'll find out anyway. Abaddon, yeah, that's a, that's a pretty. I really hate that hero. I really do. <laughs> you can't kill him. I hate him so much. All right, hit him, hit him, stop. Wait for a bit. Okay, hit him again. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> and then in that time, you could like teleport out or some shit. Just walking away casually. Yeah. The centaur, I'm excited about though. I really like him. Centaur. Uh, two typical picks with the Wind Ranger and the Lich, so might be a mid Mirana. Could be mid Mirana. <laughs> a sniper. sniper. Yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> oh, this is going to be a fantastic game. Oh. Um, I think a sniper mid, centaur off lane. No, bat rider off lane. S cent. Oh. <laughs> Um, it's a farming center. Outside of his comfort zone. Uh, I hope it's down outside of his com for comfort zone, but I dare say they'll probably be running an aggressive try. It's L on the Wind Ranger, so maybe it is just L plane support. Yeah, unless L Lich and Crystal Maiden. L solo Wind Ranger. Yeah. We'll find out what happens in a few seconds anyway. Got Mush beating on the Rubik. <laughs> yeah. Hasn't happened yet, but we all know it will. Soon, very Five soon. First blood remaining. will be Mush. Mush, hundred percent. Alrighty, well, we're in the game now, so we can actually see where these people are going. Um, I'll introduce the radiant, and then you can introduce the diorite thing. Anyway, on the side of the radiant, we have Angus the Bull playing the Lich. Windrunner is going to be played by L. Faceless Void being played by Re Resonance. Tinky is going to be playing the Marana, and last but not least, we have Noxide on the Crystal Maiden. I think that's Noxide. Noxide, yeah, looks right. And on the die, we have Mush on the Rubik. Tempest is playing the Bat Rider, who looks like he might be laning maybe jungle, a lot of tangos. Transformations on the Sniper, Dan on Centaur, and Sydney on the Abaddon. Alrighty. So. It'll be very... Yeah, okay, so it is an aggro try. That could work. That's exciting. Who's going to be up against the Wind Ranger? That Wind Ranger's going to have a sad lane. Yeah. She will. I think she's going to have to level Power Shot first, and then just... But then if she levels Power Shot, then that's going to be an aggressive battle rider. Apparently we should read, read straight stream. Stream or Steam? Words. I'm a professional caster. Words very easy. Words is easy. Got a fantastic ward. <laughs> <laughs> we we start off the game with this excellent ward by Tempest. Um, very aggressive ward placement. You'll see it coming out in the new meta. <laughs> yep. 
Uh, next stop, TI4. Um, this I mean, see anyone in this little area here? And it's just this <laughs> area. I mean, I, if it was up here, now we'd be seeing like here. You, you but, don't want to see that. You, you want to see just the bottom of the stairs. Yeah. Well, then you can see for incoming ganks, and I mean, they're not going to dewater. That's for sure. Put them up against the sniper. Well, now that's going to go. Um. Well, if Tinky hits a uh, arrow, I think that's a dead sniper. Yeah. <laughs> Without a doubt. If he gets one rotation in, it should be a dead sniper as well. What's yeah. sniper gonna do from a gang? Uh, he can use shrapnel. Uh, he could also proc bashes, but he's he already. Get real lucky. That's about <laughs> it. Bottom lane, they're going on the lich. Already, first gang. Yeah. No centaur stomp because Dan's out of place. Again. Standard Dan. Standard. He's the farm, but he doesn't know how. To <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know what's up. Him so much. Uh, it's fun. I can't do it, really do it by myself because, like, I don't really know him per se. But uh, I know him well. He's terrible. He's a <laughs> farmer. He's just missing all the farm. All right. We'll have a look at the last hits. He does have three. Ooh, four no. Crystal three Maiden's going to get gone on. Stomp coming out as well as the. Uh, really have any way to save her, she should be dead. Yeah, it is. Sydney picking up the kill. Sydney, he played a main sand king last game, that's for sure. Yeah, it was a good sand king, I enjoyed that. Uh, he picked up a lot of solo kills, actually, which I was really shocked about, but... Uh, yeah, if if any kills are going to happen, it will be in this game, that's for sure. Uh, this game, this lane. Hopefully in this game there will be some kills. <laughs> like, bottom's going to get the sniper middle. Sniper middle. Kill with a star fall. Not, Not quite, but Lich does fall in the bottom. The telekinesis coming out by Rubik, and just a lot of damage, so... The aggressive tri lane really paying off. Mush didn't feed first blood. I'm very disappointed in him. It's not standard Mush, that's for sure. He had one job. Well, two was either feed or support, so he's, at least he's doing one. Actually, having a pretty good time up in the top lane. She's ten and six for the Bat Riders two and zero. Bat Rider hasn't put any points in his sticky name palm though. That's questionable. Yeah, so not too sure if Tempest like is not too sure how to play Bat Rider or. That's true. You don't see him played as much anymore. Yeah, he does put a second point into Firefly as well, so. But no, L is actually. Uh, at the top of the... The best lane of her life. Yeah, at the top. 12 and 6. Mirana does... Oh, there goes. Yeah. So, that, that's it. Just one sacred arrow. Star Storm wasn't even necessary. Ah, she used the initiative. Ah. The first amount of damage. I didn't see the cooldown on it, so... But... One arrow and a dead, squishy sniper. In the wise words of... Uh... Sing Sing, throw arrow, hit arrow. Going on Resonance is going to get used, he's going to get... Fine. Yeah, yeah. Whiffed the stomp. <laughs> Pretty standard Dan play. Yeah, I mean, it's a really hard instant animation stun. It's a skill shot, really. Yeah, almost. I think... Centaur, well, he does have a... Like, he is doing alright as a farmer in this lane, but he could have a lot more. Yeah, he's doing it. He's an aggressive trailer. He's got 12 CS. He's doing fine. They're absolutely shutting out this um, faceless void, though. So, he won't be having... He's not having the time of his life, that's for sure. Unlike L, he's Lich taking a lot of damage. Lich is going to take a telekinesis and a war stomp. Sydney coming in and the return... return double, any, double edge. Just putting out too much damage. 250 damage at level 2. That's fantastic. Is it pure damage? Magical. Magical. So the 25% loss, that's only 25. It's So it's doing, on a standard sort of hero, it's doing about oh, 225. takes down the Bat Rider with a fantastic power shot. Oh, I missed it too. That was fantastic. One for the relight, replay reel? Highlight reel, even? 
it looks like Sniper's taking a bit of damage in this middle lane. Abaddon's going to come in as well for support. Put the shield up, Tinky. Dropping low, but haste. Dyer's top tower is under attack. You can't, you can't kill someone who has haste unless you have Pudge. Anti haste. Anti -haste. Yes. So. The anti haste rune doesn't spawn very often. It spawned once, but that was in a game where Gaben was playing, and <laughs> he was playing as a carry. Crystal Maiden, and he went 103 to 5. That was his score. You'll have to upload the VOD for that one. If I can find it, but I think that was game number... You have the replay ID, and it's 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 001. First game played was Carry Gaben. So what do you think this centaur is going to do with Radiant's all of this farm? Is he going to try and deal with a right-click Clary, or is he just going to get the Blink Dagger and just go straight face rush? Um, I think he, he will have to... I think he'll have to go with Blink Dagger. It, he might try and do like sort of like a Slaughter build and maybe pick up a Basher and AC and that sort of thing. A Basher, that would be <laughs> fantastic. Yeah. He might go for an armlet, but... I think a Blink Dagger is pretty standard on a Centaur, especially when you're getting this much farm. Elle's still up the top lane. She's 27-9, to nine, while Batrider is 9-0. and oh. Yeah, she's going to have a mech really soon. Yeah. Definitely not a position where you want Bat to be in. So yeah, far behind. She just finished the mech. She's got the recipe in the base still. If we have a look on the items... Yeah, all the items are there. She will run back there. He does take a lot of damage from that double edge, but backtrack too strong. Oh! Again, just fights happening everywhere. Like in the last game, I was waiting for a fight, and now this time, it's just every lane is fighting except for well, top really, who's just has L farming a mech. At Seven minute mech. That's crazy. It is rushed, she doesn't have boots or an Aquila or anything, but it's still a 7 <laughs> It is. It's pretty crazy. She's having a very good game, still topping at 29 CS. Especially against the Batrider too, like... Yeah, who... she should have had a much harder lane, but he's only got the one level in Sticky Nape Farm now. Yeah, he, I think he got that at like level, um... He would have at least got it at level 5, because he had the two in the Flame Break and the Firefly, but... Looks like something might. Bottom spots out the second support, so should be alright. Yeah, but Mush, Mush is actually running in. Telekinesis is going to be used on the Lich. The Stomp coming in and just. <laughs> I love that. He just explodes. <laughs> double edge. Fantastic. Double edge and the shield, the apothic shield. That's. How do? You, how can you defend against shit like that? Like. You just cry. Middle tower is under Only tears now. But that's just that's just too much damage. It's fantastic. Elle has rotated towards this bottom lane now, so she's given up the farm to Lich. So Lich will start getting items. He's got nothing at the moment. Get Lich that level six. Uh, a lot of damage coming on Faceless Void, but the mech does save him. The mech doing work. Ah, uh, already. If she didn't have that mech, that was a dead that was a dead void. Yeah. My gratitude. He does get that juicy, juicy sour, though. Ooh. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Middle tower's gonna take a fall. Sniper Radiant picking up the four points in Trapnel first, so going for an early push build. Nice. Miranda picking up the deny, though. I, th I think it's just a smart play. A sniper going a pushing build, like... He g gets this early push so he can start rotating and just using his high levels to hurt. Yeah. And then, like, because most snipers you see usually get, like, headshot and take aim builds, and it's just right click all the way, and then you die. I think he needs a Mask of Madness. He really does. Well, a Mask of Madness and a, um. a Manta or something. Mjolnir. A Mjolnir. I was trying to think of that, but I said Manta. 
DD rune bottom. Just complete glass cannon, run at them. <laughs> <laughs> Have Centaur on the front, you'll be fine. Well, if Centaur gets in, like, in front, it's a pity there's if no Centaur tiny. Up a blink soon, it'd be pretty scary. Oh yeah. Well, even Centaur without a blink, like, just that combination. Like, the telekinesis into a war stomp, and then the, uh, the, the double edge. With apothecary, apothecary, apothic shield on top of that, like centaur's taking no damage, and you're taking two fifty, three twenty five, plus a hundred and forty. Just what do you do? Again, you just cry. Takes the arrow. <laughs> Takes. Telekinesis coming up though by Mosh, but. I don't think... Starfall, yep, the damage comes out. L with that support power shot. Apparently my audio is low in the stream. Alright, I'll turn you up. That's how. Yeah, you will. Because I have to have it low because the in-game sounds are... you. Well, they used to be higher than what my voice was, and then I think something happened, and then... Something happened. It did, like, all of a sudden, my... Just, just something. I think I, um... I don't even know. I got a blue screen of death, and then, and then my audio started working. <laughs> Beats me. Anyway, sniper's gonna rotate bottom, and yeah, Void was happy. He had a bit of space for a second, and a sniper might be able to just kill him. Headshot uh, coming in. Won't finish him off. That was um, pretty close. It was. I thought he still had a double damage, but he doesn't. He does have a bottle though, so. That's, that's sort of a weird build for a sniper because the sniper you primarily want just right click sort of damage, but picking up the bottle, I suppose with shrapnel it makes it a bit easier. But we see the moonlight shadow coming out by Tinky. Gonna try and get this kill on that's sniper. sniper. Oh no, they're gonna go on Centaur, who is going to drop very very quickly. Gotcha. Apparently, it's still hard to hear me. It was only mildly better. Mildly better. All right, try now. That you should be fixed. I think my stream's lagging a little bit too, which is unfortunate. You break up a bit on Skype every now and then. I think ah, oh, bloody games and shit. Ah. Oh. So Batrider's finally given yes. up on the lane, and he's trying to farm up the blink door oh, bottom lane. Bottom lane. We have Mirana coming out with oh, the that shackle. shackle shot. Crazy shackle shot. <laughs> oh, into the creep wave. Look at that push. Gotta get it, but res re no, resonance coming in with that Mega kill. Deep <laughs> void ult. Kill. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Yeah. Hang on, I'm just gonna turn the in-game voice down because I can barely hear you now. The in-game voice, in-game volume. All right, that should be better. Can you hear me? Yes. Oh yeah. All right, that should be better. <laughs> Sorry for everyone who's watching who can't hear him. They're not missing anything. <laughs> if you want a quick catch up, I think Dan is bad and I flamed him. Oh, Centaur. <laughs> he does come in though with that. Uh, that that combo is just disgusting. It is she like. Sacrifices herself for the greater good. I think. I don't think she could have really done anything. Like. No, if I she... think she was just trying to distract them. Either that or it was a panic ult. But Void comes in, he backtracks <laughs> the damage from. Backtracking a lot of damage. Telekinesis from Mush. Nope, just the Fade Bolt to get the kill. Just the Fade Bolt. I mean, and people can hear me. Hello, people. Hooray! Me do it. I, Follow me as well. I do these casts sometimes. Anyway, back to the game. Back to. Anyway, yeah, like as you're saying, like the the combination from Abaddon, Abaddon or Abaddon if you prefer, and Centaur is just silly. My next pub games with someone I play are going to be all Centaur and Abaddon games, I think. <laughs> Throw a tiny in the mid, so the tiny throws you in, then the wall stomp, and then it's just what do. So to get it close to his blink. Void's decided to run up to the top lane now, so he can try and get some farm and try and finish that battle fury. Question um, mark. I think so, it's 15 minutes in. So that aggressive trial lane really screwed him over. Like, yeah. It's gonna, it be, a, really did. It's gonna be a long time be before we see him in. Anyway, I think 
Sniper gets... Sniper might fall mid. He doesn't. Nah. The Warcry is going to save him, but... Another arrow... Getting cleaned up by Sniper. Yeah, Tinky's been fantastic on this Mirana. He has, but the only difference is, though, is that... Well, there's no difference, really. Just... Just really unlucky. Because like, he's hit a lot of them, it's just there's nothing... Been... Like, nothing really happened. I guess. Alright, rotation into the top lane. Dan is looking to get very aggressive. Don't have a chrono for 90 seconds, so I don't think they're going to do much. He's just going to continue to try and take last hits. He does have the four points in backtrack. So, if he's going to backtrack, it's going to be now. 25% dodge chance. Does backtrack stack with evasion? evasion? Yes. Oh, that's what you want. But I suppose all evasion stacks now. Mm -hmm. So, don't really change much. Anyway, they're gonna L and Tinky are gonna try and push down this tier one mid, and oh, Dan, no. Dan, Dan almost Dan almost cops an arrow to the face. <laughs> that would have been great. I don't think they would have been able to do much if he did get it, but I, I just would have been happy. Yeah, it will get shackled by, by Rubik. <laughs> yeah, well, that's not something you say every day. The stun again, but <laughs> Tinky's gonna arrow. take the arrow to the face. A good game. Yeah, he's playing really well, but the leap's gonna be used by Tinky and. The, the, the shadow nice spell. Shadow. That's the one. I forget spell sometimes. Dan takes an arrow to the face, and so does Tinky. And then so does Mirana. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Ooh. Oh, Sydney picking up a very hefty 800 gold for You're killing the. Happy with that. Oh yeah. But just arrows flying everywhere and shackles and oh god. What is this? This is like an all Marana or mid. Shackle coming out. I heard a shackle anyway, but I think... Sydney's getting a bit aggressive there. He's just going to walk away casually. He does have his ulti up though, so he can just run in and take all the damage. Hmm. I wonder if he'll transition to a sort of like a carry build, or if he'll stay support. He could pretty easily. Hey, he's... The Radiant are all really poor because that aggressive tri lane doing so much work, but top lane, is something going to happen there? Tinky coming in, he's going to hit Dan a yeah, few times. Void's going to fall. Dan dropping yeah. as well, and Sniper. Sniper. Well. Yeah. Batrider coming in, he's got his ulti. He does have his ultimate, but he decides to save it for... I think he misses because the you got to remember... The range has changed. Yeah. Might be able to get the Kusuma? No. Not quite. But no, the range did get the changed. Arrow will connect on him though. Oh, no, that's went through? Did did that go What? What? Did that arrow just What? No, I'm actually quite It I'd... did. Was it was he fire flying? Is that a thing? I want to test that out. To Dota Cinema we go with the Mythbusters series. Anyway, Sydney taking a shackle from the creep. But no follow up. I'm going to have to watch the replay for that one. Yeah. Or try and mimic it, but does Firefly dodge Marana? I don't think it does. Was he, he wasn't even in Firefly though, was he? I doubt it. He's, it was just coming off cooldown, so he can't have still been in Firefly. Yeah, because he used it when he used that blink dagger, and that was way after. Yeah. Okay, so... Not too sure what's happening there. GG. Volvo, G please. Yeah, Volvo, please. GG, well played. But, I mean, that would have been an easy kill. Tempest coming out with a blink again, but... Not being able to get these ulti on anything. Yeah, he needs a force stuff. Yeah. I think that's... Well, he's finally getting some space to finish his Battle Fury, though, so then you'll be able to get another item after that, yeah. eventually. Maybe a Mask of Madness. Void's the only hero I'd suggest getting a Mask of Madness on, like, as a core item. Dan... It's an obnoxious sniper range with the shrapnel. He can just kill the tower. I can't oh. that. So silly. It got changed to be... Obnoxious. It got changed to be longer, too, didn't it? Yeah. Ah. Oh. disgusting. Sniper, please. 
Centaur didn't go for the blink dagger. He's got a ring of health. Is he going into a vanguard? Um. I really hope he's not going into a vanguard. What are you doing, Dan? I think he might be going Battle of Fury. Because that'd be an excellent build. Yes. That makes sense. I'd almost prefer the vanguard. Hmm. But no, if he goes Vanguard, he might be going a pipe. They might be looking to reinitiate here, Moonlight Shadow. They do have Chrono up. The, the arrow connects. Yeah, Tempest taking the arrow. The Ooh, Void. Ult on three. Chrono's here picking up two. With. Okay, Rubik picking up the Chrono as well. But not really doing anything. Okay. Um, a lot of damage coming out from behind. Mush is going to take a lot of damage, but the Apothic Shield is going to save him. Arrow coming out, and. Okay. The arrow and the power shot both missing Marsh, but the Batrider does fall. Yeah, Batrider's not having a very good game, and the Lich ult once again was just used to farm creeps. <laughs> well, I mean, farming... Having really bad luck with those bounces. Yeah. I mean, that's one thing you want when you play a Lich, is if you just want the bounces to be perfect. If you can get perfect bounces, then you're going to win. Anyway, how much gold does... I think... There is a Claymore on the Courier for Void, yeah, so... So he's 1,200 off. 1,200 off his 30-minute Battle Fury. It's, it's a good item on Void. It gives you Cleave. It does. It's good on the next Cronus here, like, I'll give him that, but... I think... Yeah, but he has no damage or attack speed, so... <laughs> he'll hit him twice and then walk away. That's it. <laughs> And Centaur did go with the Vanguard. Really... Really late Vanguard. He does have Fades Boots as well, so I don't know what he's trying to do. Yeah, well, I think a Blink Dagger might have been a bit better. Maybe they think with the Batrider having a Blink Dagger, they're going to use him to initiate and have Dan to just soak up as much damage as possible. Well, that seems... That actually seems pretty, like, a solid idea, but I think... Yeah. I think a better way of doing it would be having Dan to initiate and then the Batrider coming in on top of that and lassoing anyone he can. Yeah, especially with how late he got the Vanguard, he should have just saved for hard. Vanguard at the 22 minute mark, it's not really going to give you that much. Yeah, it gives you, like, what, a 80% block chance? But when you have, like, 5 heroes and 30 creeps wailing on you, yeah. it makes it a little bit harder. Okay, at the rate this game's going, if we have a look at the graphs, the experience is starting to... It has actually has always been in the Radiant's favour, I don't know how with that aggressive tri lane, but the gold on the other hand is in... The they did lose the tri lane, but they won mid in the off lane, so... Yeah, I suppose so. Um, but at this rate, like, there's is no real hard carry on the Dire besides Sniper. And you're up against a Void and a, a Mirana who can very well go. Almost taking down Dan on the top lane. They may turn it around. The no, boss carrying any detection. To. That doesn't surprise me. Who picks up detention? Ooh, Chronosphere is going to be used on Dan. On the Dan. On the Dan. Batrider is going to get L. For first, I think that's the first ult this game, but he doesn't really do much with it. He doesn't do anything with it. No. Void might take a fall for his efforts as well. Crystal Maiden goes down on the back. Yeah. Just so many fights happening. Man. Lich Ooh. dying in Firefly. So that three kill advantage that they had, they just threw it away then. Yeah. That's a tower. Might even transition into a Roche. Ah uh, yeah, I think I think that'd be the best way to do it. Even or oh, if they're quick enough, they might even be able to pick up two towers. But they are going to go on Tinky, no? No, they're so not. They're not careful. If these two die, that's a Rex. Oh, maybe not because Crystal Maiden is up now and Void and Lich are just not. Without the Windrunner and the Mirana, Void doesn't have anything, and he's used his Chrono. True. Yeah. He's just food. Meanwhile, Sniper in the back, just doing what he does to the tower. Yeah, you obnoxious little bastard. <laughs> what has he got? He's got his Yasha, so... Yasha of Drums. He's got 3k in the bank. Like, what do you get with a Sniper now? Do you go for a Shadow Blade? Ew, I really hope not. Or do you don't need any more initiation. Yeah, but I think it's more of a safety mechanism, because, like, as a Sniper, you don't have any real... I guess. I still don't like it, though. You just want him to do a stupid amount of damage from a distance. Yeah. Maybe a Deso. Arrow coming out. It's going to hit Sydney, but... 
the one person who has an ultimate wear. Ev so now the centaur's picked up his blink dagger. Meanwhile, mid lane, much taking a bit of damage, but Tenki sort of just... He threw his arrow, hits in the... and then leaped about three seconds after. Not too sure what the go was, but... Yeah, he probably wasn't sure how much he wanted to commit to it. Hmm. Just a bit too little too late, because then the telekinesis well, came he out. he had to show his dominance in the end. Like, he has to just let them know that he is tanky. Yeah. <laughs> he will leap at you. Give you the bad face. That's right. Oh, pause. Damn hell. Doing the pauses. Puppy paws. He's connected. Who is Luke? I don't know. Is that someone that we should be waiting for? Out of control, DC worth of course. Who is Ook? Out of control. Um, okay. I, hmm, yeah, okay. Okay, that's interesting. Have you seen Batrider's latest item? Batrider, let's have a look. He has a vitality booster. Right. That's fascinating. So is he also going into a Vanguard? I hope he is. Vanguard Gaming. Vanguard Gaming. Well, we just need one on the Sniper and we're good to go. That's it. Just three core Vanguard. Telekinesis is going to be used on Void. Void going to take a lot of damage. Now, Headshot's going to be used, but just a lot of damage. Chrono It's going to be used on Mush. Boy, why? <laughs> what is happening? Like, they're just taking a lot of damage. The sniper is just obnoxious. Where All he has is Yasha, and he already does so much damage. Ah, those headshot procs. Like, bonus 90 damage with a 40% chance to hit. Yeah. Once he starts getting... Oh, you just bought a Desolator. It's in the bank. There we That's disgusting. Alright, so not yeah, only... The headshots can't be evaded, so 40% of his attacks on Void are just hitting. Yeah, that's it. And Crystal Maiden explodes, <laughs> so the combo Lich goes down. Oh, just deaths happening everywhere, Mush Run, is... L. Run! It's not worth it! Nope, not when that happens. Pothic... Oh, Pothicary Yeah, oh, so he has one. He does have one. So, Vanguard. Oh. So, the Void has picked up his Battle Fury at 27 minutes. He might be coming online in the next 10 minutes or so, if he can free farm. Yeah. He needs... Well, he can start jungling now, at least, anyway. Well, more efficiently, because he does have that Battle Fury, but... Stomp coming out. Arrow is on cooldown. Chrono is on cooldown. They're in a very bad place. <laughs> yep. Another death going. They just keep throwing themselves. And as Dan said, he did the, the void dodge both the spells. So it's, it's just something you don't really want as a void. Oh, oh as a, caught the arrow. He's going to get the bad touch. He Abaddon is. Abaddon takes the kill. Abaddon for the win. How many kills does he have? He has quite a few, I think. 7, 0, oh, and 6. Yeah. Perfect gaming. He has 2,100 in the bank, too. He might be going for an AC. I hope he goes an AC. I hope he gets a mom. We need to see a mom. Sniper hasn't got one yet. Don't know why. I mean, it's pretty legit. Oh, he's got a desolator now. The life steal just won't work. It's not oh, yeah, true. Yeah. But do you get it for the attack speed? Yeah, they just get the mule on you. Hmm. Anyway, maybe Void will pick one up. Very slow siege taking this tower down. Crystal Maiden needs to be very careful, Dan, having his blink dagger off. Yeah, because after, like, well, you saw how quickly she dropped before. Yeah. Maybe even Void takes a bit of damage from him, if he doesn't backtrack at all. Void's got 800 health. <laughs> all he has is a battle fury to his name. I, I really hate that item of Void. I really hate it. Uh... It depends though, like because if you can get a really good chronosphere and like just like one person behind, like in front yeah, of five. Yeah, but you five. need more than the battle fury to be able to be effective with that. It just takes too long for Void to come online. Yeah, he has great team fight presence. Just get something for attack speed and go kill people. What would you get though? Like a maelstrom? Just get a mask of madness. Probably even just a Yasha would be enough if you just want to go for early team fights. Yeah, I feel when you get a mask of madness though that like the damage is just not there. Mm. Unless you get lucky bashes. Yeah, that's it. Yes. 
Batrider picked up a Vanguard. Oh, winning. He does have it. So yeah, that Blink Vanguard on Batrider. I don't think I've ever seen that. Um. So maybe. Sniper needs to pick up his Vanguard and then we're set. Then they can go high ground. That's it. He will have... Well, if Sniper does pick up a Vanguard, he will have that defense that the Shadow Blade would also give. Looks like they might be making a move here. Now just defensive moon like Shadow. Tiggy is going to sort of hit this tier 1 tower a bit. Going to hit Ooh. Dan. Dan might be in a little bit of trouble. Depends how committed Tinky gets. Quite yeah, committed. Gets the, yeah, gets the kill. He has a Desso now, but here comes Sniper and Batrider. Ooh, getting the lasso. Batrider. He just keeps him there. Well, why not? Sniper's got the movement speed. Yeah. Not the movement speed, the, attacks, the attack range, I should say. He also has movement speed, because he got a Yasha. <laughs> got Dan, totally worth I agree. 100%. Yep. Hard carry for a hard carry. Well, mid. Hard Even carry, Dan. Dan was on the support, it still would have been worth. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> it's just lucky that he is a carry player. High priority. Meanwhile, mid lane. Is he going to take a lot of damage? Hugh has a mech as well. Oh, what an unfortunate proc. Yeah, that's just, it would have just ticked to. Yeah. This. Ruby walking around with the gem. Yeah, so. Presence is going to be quite scary. Void. Map control gone. What was that void leap to? It was for a Batrider who I don't think he saw because he sort of. Lit leapt there and Batrider was here, so. That distance is not. Seeable. Go for Roche yet. Nah, it looks like Maybe I can inspire them. them. I mean, they've got such a crazy advantage at the moment. They don't really need to press the issue. Void isn't going to be scary anytime soon. Yeah, that's it. Um, oh, your drawings on the map worked. Yeah. Um, he does have a morbid mask though, so he's getting that step closer to a mask of madness. But they are going to have the mask of madness. Oh, does he? Yes. I'm so proud of him. No, he's only got the Morbid Mask for now, but he is going for one. Sniper, Mask of Madness. Oh, Sniper? Oh! Yes. I was talking about Void. No, Sniper, oh, that's... Void? Oh, yeah, no, he hasn't picked one up. No, he's, he's got the Morbid Mask, but he doesn't have the... Um... Uh, okay, yeah, I was talking about Sniper, he's finally picked his up. Yeah, so, awesome. He's got that extra his movement speed. DPS is going to be disgusting. <laughs> this tower in the middle lane should just melt. Dan that's... with the Blade Mail, what a bastard. Ah, oh, just make it even harder. He's, he will get a heart next, I guarantee it. Probably, if it goes that far. But nobody on... <coughs> excuse me, sorry. Nobody on the Radiant is anywhere close to a BKB. No, <laughs> that's right. Dan I think is just going to destroy them if they try to attack him. Yeah, I think Crystal Maiden is actually going for one. Because she has a um, Ogre Club, but... The amount of damage... <laughs> That was a decent Chrono. Chrono with the massive Lich Ult coming on top of he it. He just doesn't have the damage to follow it up though. That is the biggest problem with going back Valkyrie first. He has no attack speed and no damage. Yeah. But... Nice Shackle coming out from the Wind Ranger under Dan. Yeah. Uh, Faceless Void does end up dying too. Dan is dropping very low. But... Nothing else really coming from that. Mirana coming in from behind. Chasing down this Sniper who... Is on a little bit of HP. Dan does so die. I'll be able to finish her off. Uh, he does, and... That's disgusting. <laughs> that is disgusting. <laughs> oh, the amount of damage that comes out. But then L comes in from behind and does that last hit that he really, like, that was needed. Oh, I love the shit talking in games like this. It's so fun. It's part of the game. You have to. It's a rule. Yeah. Rule of Southern Cross Dota in house. Rule one: You do not talk about. No, you do talk about Southern Cross Dota, because we're a loving community that everyone should get there involved we go. with. Faces Void finally picks up his Mask of Madness, and the Batrider does get his four star. So initiating will be slightly easier for him, unless he blinks straight into another Chrono. Yeah, it, c it could happen. What happened last fight? It did. It, I was gonna say it could. Well, I should have said is it could happen again. But yeah, no. It 
he, he's good at doing that. Ah. <laughs> uh. It does look like, yeah, Abaddon is going for Assault Curious. He's going to be picking up the AC. That is great. Interested to see what Miranda's next item will be. Will she go for a BKB to try and live a bit longer, or is she just going to go balls to the wall and pick up more damage? Ah, uh, I really hope she picks oh, up more damage. Oh, sniper with a full Mjolnir, that is scary. Oh, <laughs> uh, how, what's his attack speed going to be like? He's got... 0 0.59 attacks per second, with Mask Commanders on top of that. Oh, it's just gonna be insane. That's disgusting. Look at it! Look at him! They really need to get in close to be able to kill him, and I don't see that happening with the Centaur and the Batrider on the front lines. Yeah, not to mention Headshot Procs. Babysitting is just... they can't touch him. Yeah, and then with Headshot Procs on top of it, like... You can't even, like, if he, even if he's by himself, you're going to 1v1 him. How hard is it going to be to just even get close to him? Still waiting for that Vanguard pickup, though. I'm, I'm disappointed. Mjolnir before Vanguard, that's a rookie move. Yeah. He doesn't have that defense that he so desperately needs. <laughs> Void has 1400 in the bank now, so he might be able to pick up a, another Claymore. For damage. He does pick up a broadsword, so he's going for crit. So that'll give him a bit of damage in here. So for the Radiant to be able to come back, what do you think they need to be able to win this game? BKBs at the moment. Like... Even with the BKBs though, Sniper is still dishing out way too much physical damage for that. Yeah, that's true. Well, I think what they really need is a, a really decent Cronus here, going on the Sniper and then popping BKBs if they can get him. Because, like, they're going to have to isolate the Sniper, otherwise... Like, how will you kill him? Yeah, they really need to isolate him. If they can catch him in the chronosphere, that'd be fantastic. Anyway... They... Oh, wow. Void. He died fast. Yeah, no, he <laughs> ceased to exist. Wow, that sniper. I don't know how you defend yourself against that, but... I think they can just walk straight up the hill here, really. Yeah, it is only a Rax, but the backdoor protection is too strong. Doesn't look like it. Nice shackle coming out from L, but I don't really think it's going to do that much. Lich Alt coming out and jumping onto the creeps almost immediately. Arrow to land on the Abaddon. They might be able to pick him off here really quickly. He does have borrowed time up though, so we'll be able to walk out. Oh, Tinky. Marana dies in three hits Ooh. from the sniper. As you do. And wow, that's an ultra kill for the sniper. That damage. I think this is... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, th I think um, this is a GG, like, I just can't see him coming back from this. Yeah, there's, there's no real comeback from this one. They needed Void to carry too much, and with the aggressive trial lane shutting him down that early, it just wasn't able to happen. Yeah, well, if you have a look at the experience graph, it's, like, actually really odd, because it's only 10,000 in favour of, like, it's been uh, the Radiant all the way up until Sniper just started getting kills. Like, well, which is pretty standard, but... See, there we go. There's a very good chrono, but he missed the sniper, and there would have been no follow-up anyway. Yeah. Everyone being dead. CM bought back. So, I don't know. Mine's lying. It said she bought back. They are going to push all three towers Just go down. the mega creeps. That's it. You get more battle point bonus. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Moonlight Shadow. But yeah, this Sydney had another fantastic game. Good player. I recommend him. Play with him in pubs. He's probably good. But Look at that damage coming out from Stoke. <laughs> it's just <laughs> it's disgusting. Silly. Killing Mirana in the fountain. It's like the new Pudge. It's just disgusting. That range. Look at that. That range is just... Look at it! It shouldn't be a thing. <laughs> just obnoxious. <laughs> and that is the GG. 32 to 18 for the sniper, pretty much.
15 and 6. Yeah. He was 15 he and 6. He had a rough early game, but at least with the aggressive trial lane, they were make, able to make him a lot of space. And Sydney was definitely MVP on Abaddon. Oh, he played brilliantly. Definitely. 8, 0, and 9 as a support. Picking up an AC amongst all that as well. All right. Yeah. That's been Southern Cross Dota in House Nine. Joining me is Logical Scope. Any last words for this evening? You should all follow me on Twitter. Do it. I did it once, and it, it was the best thing ever. Yeah, we talk on the Twitter all the time. Many conversations. Much thought. <laughs> wow. All right. That's going to be my last game to cast tonight because I actually have to get up for uni in the morning. That's Woo. disgusting. Seven o'clock. Yes, come at me. All right. Thanks everyone for tuning in tonight. And from everyone at Southern Cross Dota, thank you for watching. I'm pretty sure we had 15 concurrent viewers at one stage. 15 viewers, that's an act. That's amazing. It's the highest ever. Yeah, it is actually. I think we had more. I'm not too sure, but now we're down to five. Anyway, thank you everyone. <laughs> um, tune in next week for what will probably be a 1v1 tournament I think I'm hosting. That sounds interesting. It's going to be fun. It's going to be good. Alright, thank you everybody, and... Take care.